Hello world and welcome back, I'm Carhu the Great Bear of the North, and this is Europa Universalis 4 on the DLC, up to and including Mario Nostrum, and of course, MEIU and Taxes. We are the Colon Republic, we are currently involved in a war with France, they've taken a bunch of our stuff, but we are pushing back, they have much fewer people than we do. Um, in fact, Denmark, I might even be able to end this right now, we can sue for peace, suggest demands, Fion and Sielans to me, no, what I'd rather have... Um, is... I want to take some of these... I want to take some of these colonies. And maybe... in truce with France? There we go, I want all of those. I want all of those colonies. There we go. Um... And you'll give me Fion. No, you're not going to give me Fion as well? Will you give me Eiland? Oh, Eiland is all the way up there. No, you're not going to give me any of that? No, you're not even going to give me money. But you will give me all of France's colonies, and you will end your treaty with France. That's not necessarily a bad thing. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, Let's... No, you know what? I still have some more territories that I can take back from France. I mean, Metz is going to be very easy, as is Neufchâteau. So let's let's deal with that. Let's take that. Let's see um, how things will change once I've got those back. Um, I mean, that might change it by... What will that change it by? Um, let's see. Metz, that'll change it by, by three, actually. No, that's if I take Nancy back. Um... What's that? Metz and... Oh no, that's just the one place. Okay, because I just took enough Chateau back. Um, well, maybe I start taking parts of France. See how this starts to affect things. Slide them in there. Manpower low. Uh, let's go with the military candidate, Neu Belgian. There we go. Let's start taking over parts of France. See how y'all like it. Uh, yeah, and then Burgundy will just start taking the, the little places. Good. Good. This is a very, very long war. I mean, it seems longer than it is. It's only been like three or four years. It's just, I'm going at such a slow pace. Good. Col is occupied Metz. So let's take Barrois. Uh, Brittany has given us a gift. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brittany. Um, so my provinces lack cores. Lübeck. Oh yes, these are the, um, these aren't coring it, these are just making them this, the, the state that they're part of. A core in my, in my territory. Um, so it's all of these guys, you know, I'm going to move these guys down to Metz, just so they can start bouncing around to get a little bit closer to places if they, if they need to. The line is building a spy network. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, look at that. Burgundy is starting to take places for me. Um, yeah, that, that will affect things. That will definitely affect things. Um, in fact, yeah, this war goal. Yeah, ticking war goal is also going up. Gottlieb Batten has died. Kongorai has internal conflicts. Okay. Um, how's my relative manpower? My relative manpower is quite high. Especially because Denmark is out of this. In fact, I have Denmark completely, completely out of it. Maybe, maybe I can get, can I get France out of this? Sue for peace. No, France is, my war score with France is minus seven. There we go. Kola occupied Barhoa. Excellent. Maybe these two combine to take long. Just to see. Just to see. I don't know if this is if this is even worth it. But we will see. We will, oh, Argon came back because uh they got taken back by oh by Bree. Okay, so you are going to have to go up there. In fact, one of 
the big one is also going to go there too. Because if I can win this battle, that changes things again even more considerably. Let's get in. There we go. Did Burgundy join me? No, it's Orléans. Where's Burgundy? I don't know. Burgundy is somewhere. I'm sure they are. Good. This is very much helping. Yes. Reducing their shock by giving all my land leaders plus one shock. Actually, is that all land leaders or is that just new land leaders? Um, I do not know. I do not know. There we go. Wonderful. Battle of Rathelois. Excellent. But now I need to spread my guys out some more. So we're going to leave two guys in here. You two. The rest are going to go up to Lundberg and, and Metz. There we go. Actually, one of you guys is going to go to Nanzig. You're actually going to go back to Rethelois. Just because um, I don't have enough guys to actually keep that siege up. Right now. I think I need like 24,000 and I'm at... Yeah, I need 24,000 and I'm at 23.8. There we go. Now I can take them out, send them back to Metz. And I should still be able to continue that siege. There we go. There we go. And even France is starting to not like this. Even France is starting to not like this. To be fair, neither is my manpower. My manpower is super low. Maybe Denmark. I can get North Carolina. Um, I can take all of Denmark's money. And will you give me Fion? No, Sierland. Um... Okay, you know what? I will take all of France's colonies. Like, all of them. And, um... And I'll end Denmark's alliance with France. <clears throat> Although, do I even want that? Uh, d attacking Denmark is a good way to attack France. And if I can do that in the future, maybe I won't do that. So maybe I'll do that, and you'll give me Fion. And Leyland? No. You'll give me that, and war reparations? No, if, I, if you don't give me Fion, will you give me war reparations? There we go. Actually, no, I want Fion. I want Fion more than I want war reparations. There we go. We'll do it that way. Uh, transfer trade power? No. Um, there we go. Boom. That was quite a bit. Quite a bit. And now we need to send my guys back. So, Rhein Army goes to capital. Friesen Army goes to Assen. Nederland Army goes to... Let's go to Leuven. Lothringen army stays in Nanzig. Westfalische army goes to Hoya. And my Danish army goes up to Ripon. Whew. That was good. We still have a lot. A lot of money that we are losing. A lot of money. Um, are my missionaries doing anything? My missionary strength is... I don't know, it's a lot because of war exhaustion. Um, so we'll do this. You know what we'll do? Well, we'll actually dramatically reduce our army maintenance. Colonial maintenance is still ridiculous. Oh, because we just took a whole bunch of new colonies. That was dumb. Um, like at 31, just for Mingo. So my provinces lack cores. Let's make Durlach a core. Let's make Fion a core. There we go. Um, Mingo is I'm actually going to abandon... Can I abandon a colony? Yeah, we will abandon that colony. That will save us 30 per month. That will save us 30 per month. Um, but it's good because at least France doesn't have it. And Capelle, all the way down here... Ne definitely needs to get some autonomy to drop the unrest. There we go. Whew. 
That was quite a bit. Quite a bit. That was a long war. That was fun. That was very, very fun. And you can go back to Den Haag. Claims fabricated. France is called Neufchateau, their own. New Lieutenant General, Noy Lothringen, military candidate. There we go. Huh. Um, I'm only losing 6.72 per month. That's good. And once, you know, I get some Mexican treasure fleets, I can start paying off my, um, my debts. Actually, Ignari. Okay, Ignari does have a colonist. So that's good. Okay. Okay, we're, I mean, we're slowly getting our guys back. We're slowly getting our guys back. Um, just for the sake of, you know, comparing things. Uh... Let's see how far down France is. France is 78,000. Yeah, I'm at 118,000. Great Britain is at 106. Wow, is Great Britain at war with anybody? No, but they are allied with me, so that's good. That is very good. But, um... Oh, I'm losing 92 again. Hmm. Hmm. Um... My missionaries aren't doing anything? No. So what am I going to do? I mean, for, for seven per month? Um, there we go. We'll do that. Colonial maintenance, we will... I mean, even if we have... Here, let's just drop army maintenance even further. At least, so we're not losing quite as much. There we go. We are now in the green. We're getting 1.93. And my loans... Oh my goodness, I had a lot of them. Uh, I need to pay back 1,200. So the next merchant fleet, next next Mexican trade fleet, will be sufficient for that, to at least pay off the first one. There we go. Iconic Renaissance building, gain, let's gain military power, and some ducats. Um, my army tradition is actually quite high. I have seven leaders, I don't need that many leaders. Um, what I'm going to do, Admiral von Scheidach, you're gone. Krizen's Lipstadt. I need to get Lipstadt to somebody. Uh, that's the Lothringen army. I'm gonna get rid of Siegfried Castle. We need Krizens Lipstadt. Good. And then we'll get rid of the Gottlieb Lipstadt. And, oh, Siegfried Castle. I guess we'll keep Siegfried Castle. Um, because I have enough. There we go. <sighs> I'm a lot less stressed now. I'm a lot less stressed. Um, gaining control over Tildkara. Some of my provinces lack cores. Debt mold, but I need 66. Fantastic. Bartering increases. Lose 100 administrative power, but lose to inflation. There we go. And Gazi failure. At least we are, uh, at least we're rid of the Gazis. But, um, how are we in technology? We're, we're getting up to fire locks. Yeah. There we go. There we go. You know, with that 106,000 that Britain has, um, is, is really, is really good. I wonder if they're, I wonder if they're still in debt. Let's just, let's just see if they're still in debt. Great Britain is no longer in debt. Spain is in debt. But you know what? Great Britain's not. I was, did they deal with the Portuguese thing? Yeah, they, de they dealt with the Portuguese. Okay, so that means... I don't think Milan's going to declare war on me, but that means that when we do end up settling our thing with Denmark in 1712, in just five years, we should be able to turn around and, uh, and if we've dealt with our money situation and things like that, we can invade France with the extra 106,000 men from Britain, which will be huge. And traitor in parliament, of course it was one of them. Denmark's opinion of me drops or I lose prestige. Denmark's opinion of me is dropping. Fine. Uh, La Plata. Okay, but I don't want this guy. Tarpaka is part of New Jutland. New Jutland. New Burgund? Are they part of New Jutland? Where is New Jutland? New Brabant. Huh. Oh, there's New Jutland. Um, so why isn't Tilkara? Joining New Jotland. Huh. Interesting. 
Neujutland interactions, I will grant you a province to Kara. Liberty desire will decrease by one and become zero. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. I have no qualms with any of that, but I do have a new. I do have a new uh, trader. Let's see. Let's sort it by value. Actually, no. Let's sort it by our current trade power. Rheinland. It's the North Sea. Not that powerful, but Nagasaki. I don't have that much at all. Um... So let's let's go with trade power. Um, uh, Portugal, we've got a lot in Portugal. We've got half of Senegal, but I'm already trading there. We don't have as much. Uh, we've got the Hansa. Actually, Pomerania has most of the Hansa. Let's send it. Let's send a guy to the North Sea. There we go. Let's do it like that. Excellent. Excellent. I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. I was honestly for a while there. Um, I was a little bit worried about the whole France thing, but uh, this is good. News from the colonies: Cotton will now be reduced in Nieder in Nieder Gross Gross. What 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 town is that? Um. Niedergrostrom? Huh. Huh. What what colonial region is this in? Nieder... But n none of my colonies are, are named that. Don't maybe I will close this. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just had to uh, do this. Then this is lower gross... Lower... Big... I don't know. I do not know. Legitimate question. Why did I lose my... Okay, legitimately questioned. Uh, I'll lose by prestige, whatever. But I want my trade... Diplomacy. Covert actions. I want to build my... Oh. We were recently discovered. Philosopher criticizes the government. Um, let us see if you choose choice reforms or one stability. Let's do the choice reforms. Thank you very much. Let's build a spy network in Morocco. Because, again, I do want to start moving in to here. There's actually... Oh, they're being pirates. That's good. That's good. Um, well, yeah, look, I'm making money. So you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to drop my army maintenance entirely. Let's bring this money up. I'll start paying off my loans. And um, it's entirely possible that uh, Milan will declare war. But I've got Britain. I've got Spain. I've got a bunch of people on my side. I don't think that's going to be an issue. I really don't. I really don't. Smallpox plague is hitting the natives. I mean, I think I, I smacked France around enough that that they're not going to mess with me in the immediate future. Um, I, mean, I, am, I, I am over my force limits. Um, oh, good. I can get 1655 ducats. There we go. I will not incorporate Mosul Franconian. Actually, I might. I mean, it's entirely possible. Um, no, but that's okay. I did not. But we will pay. We will repay two loans, which drops my interest by like eleven per 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 month, which is good. Which is good. Which is very very good. Um, and I'm starting to get some colonies. <laughs> Fantastic. This is my war exhaustion is high. There's a, going to be a rebel uprising in Mali. These guys again? Segu, Kabu. Um. Segu. Kabu? Where's Kabu? Kabu. There's Kabu. Let's give them some autonomy. Whatever. Um. Kansala, Wardogu. Waradogu is... There we go. Kansala. Uh... Wait, 
Where, where's Kinsala? Kinsala. Oh, right. It was right in front of me the entire time. Okay. There we go. I mean, a lot of this is caused by high war exhaustion. So, I get that. You know what? We'll leave it at that. We will leave that there. Um, build. I can start building stuff. Hey, hey. I'm not going to, but I can start building stuff. And I can also send a diplomat back to build my spy network. In order to, to you know, get a, uh, a claim on some of these houses. Um, yeah, Morocco. There we go. I mean, I've got France. I've got... This is good. I definitely need my manpower to go back up before I get into another war with France. Can get a new idea. But you know what? At the stage, I'm in May 1710. I'll have I'll have that. Um, you know what? No, let's 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 do another one. Let's get land leader maneuver, or do I want monthly war exhaustion and reinforce speed? Monthly war exhaustion and reinforce speed. That'll be that'll be good. So do that. When your motto is that victory is in only your own hands, you know you'll rise victorious in every struggle. Our armies must interiorize this truth so they become invincible. I think they mean internalize this truth. I think that's the word that they were looking for, but that is that is okay. I mean, as it stands right now, we will get the next level in 1713, but then drop 25% from that, so it might be like 1711 or something like that. So that's not bad. Six years minus 25%, yeah, yeah, that's 1711, 1712. That is okay. Paganism is in decline. Lose one and rest in Hizen. Um... Oh, our army organizers and colonial governors are, are dying left, right, and center. But it is January 1st, 1708, and I'm going to call this an episode. I'm Karhu, the Great Bear of the North. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please like, please subscribe, please comment, follow me on Twitter. You know all of that. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have given. It's, it's pretty cool. I mean, this is what, episode 139? 139, that's crazy. Um... Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all next time in the Colon Republic. Dankeschön. Und auf Wiedersehen.